it felt great. Uh, you know, you just work hard to stay prepared, and and uh, you know, you're talking to Paul, and you're talking to Bo, and the guys on the headset. And, uh, you know, just trying to make sure you stay uh, on time and give the guys an opportunity to go out and play well. I think that Miles is, uh, you know, he's confident. You know, he's a guy who understands the game. He's worked really hard to, to prepare. Uh, but, you know, we like Deacon as well. I mean, there's still guys are still going to compete. And for us, you know, the back of QB is just guys got to just continue to compete, you know, and, and earn that right to get those plays. Well, you, you were here last year when Chez, before he got hurt, he was playing well, so you've only seen him since camp. Is he to you like a guy who's coming off a major injury? Uh, I don't, the comparison, I, I don't, I mean, I saw him last year in the first game and he looked great. <laughs> and uh, I was in the stands. Okay. But I, mean, I think he looks great now. I think he's worked really hard to okay. get himself back. You know, okay. he's running physical. Um, he's running with his pads, you know, down and he's running confident. You know, I think, I like our running backs. It's a very competitive room and a very talented room. I think there's a healthy balance of uh, competition and cooperation in there. And, those guys love ball and they all love to touch it, so that's good for us. And I think they drive each other to be great. Bobby, after Mark Sound had that drop, uh, he mentioned that you uh, communicated with Coach Wooded to say, say something. Just wondering what you communicated to the guy. Uh, just stay, stay confident. You know, uh, just keep playing the game, and you want to, you want to, you know, get them back in the rhythm whenever you can. But you know, it's early in the game, and there's a lot of football left to be played for a young guy. You just don't want that to affect him. Oh, you mentioned the running back room. It's kind of a unique situation where nobody left and nobody came into that group. Mm -hmm. Do you sense that that's a pretty tight group, being it's their second full year together? I do. Um, just being here, you know, since the spring, those guys have pushed each other and worked really hard, and they're highly competitive. And I think they take pride in, you know, uh, playing hard, playing well, and, and, and just continue to grasp the details of the offense so that we can be even more efficient. got the right approach. He's got the right mindset. You know, he's a football guy through and through. Uh, he understands the game. And, and, uh, physically, he's got a ton of speed. You know, he plays physical and he's got good hands. It's just a matter of just continuing to grow as a wide receiver and rounding out his route tree and in and out of breaks and blocking. Just the whole big picture, but uh, a ton of ton of upside there. We're excited about him. Bobby, if backup quarterback is a continuous open competition, how do you go about managing those practice reps, knowing you have to prepare your starter, but also a potentially new backup? Uh, you know, you 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 you're very diligent in who gets what. Um, it's not just hey, you get this rep or you get that rep. Uh, it's just being diligent about what reps they're getting and, and how you're growing uh, them in the offense. Bobby, Aiden Ritchie had two catches on the game, yards. He's also a pretty good block. Do you envision facing that Nick Boyle role? Uh, I think that Hayden has done really uh, a good job. He's working really hard to be a well-rounded tight end. You know, obviously he's a big physical guy, and we count on him uh, to do that in the run game. But you know, he does some things nicely in the short to intermediate area as well. But you know, he's got to continue to just be uh, be good uh, in both phases, and also pass protection. You know, which is asking him to be an all all-around tight end. What jumps out when you look at Washington State's defense on film? What's the challenges they can present? Um, I think those guys are well coached. You know, I think they play really hard. They play fast. They play physical, and, and uh, they have they play they play with great energy. They move a lot, and then they play a lot of depth, particularly in the in the front four. Uh, you know, they'll they'll rotate guys in there. And you'll see different guys in there uh, in, ter in terms of rushing and passing. Uh, and I think the challenge will be, you know, they they play a lot of man. Uh, and they'll mix that in with some three deep zone. So it'll be a challenge for us uh, in terms of making sure we, we were really, really working to get open. Bobby, last week you said, talk to me next week about what I liked about being upstairs. Yeah. And some guys do it from the sidelines. What did you see first time up there? What did you like? And maybe what are some things that you know you'll have to change as you get more experience? Yeah. Up there on the floor? I just think you see that obviously you see the game. Okay. The perspective is different. Um, I like the communication with the guys in the, in the, in the booth okay. as well as on the sideline. And, uh, you know, in terms of just 
continuing to work hard and prepare. I think that's the biggest thing is preparation. And, and it's all about trying to put our players in the best possible position to go out and have success. So that's, that's the number one goal. Bobby, it seemed like Graham was supposed to be short and immediate Do you plan on trying to push the ball more offensively, or do you like that game play? I think you have to have it all. I think you have to be balanced. You know, this game played out uh, in a certain way. You know, who knows how this game on Saturday will play out. As an offense, you have to be able to throw the ball short, intermediate, and deep. Uh, but, you know, the number one thing is do what you need to do to get the win. Talking to players, they also mentioned Graham's leadership taking a step this season. Just curious how you've seen that play out uh, throughout all season now into the season. Uh, I think it's played out in terms of just having actions, right? Actions speak louder than words. And I think he was really dedicated to working hard and getting his body right. I think he was working hard and dedicated to the, the craft of being a, a QB and all of the, the details and nuances that come with that. And also uh, just the film. Studying film and seeing how he can give himself an edge, you know, and I think the guys respect him.